It's time to check out an advanced form builder that's called Forms Flow. This one is aiming towards medium to large businesses. That means that you are going to find advanced features that you're not going to find on other form builders. So let's go check this out right now. What's up, SaaS Masters? In this video, we're going to cover the premium features from Forms Flow, aiming towards medium to large businesses. The reason for this is because medium to large businesses are looking for more complex, more customizable form building that this is going to provide them. But be aware, they do have a free open source version if you want to check that out. So the differences are right here. You got your free open source version here. You got your premium light and your premium standard features. So if you want to check it out, link be provided in the description. Now let's actually jump into my dashboard. And in this case, I'm in the designer section. So that means that Forms flow is divided in three sections, your designer, your client, and your reviewer. Okay, so in this, this section, I'm in the designer section. And if I want to build a new form, all I have to do is click on create a form. And in this section, you're going to see that there's new options available when you are on the premium plan. So if I go down here, you got your basic elements, advanced layout data, and you got your premium elements. So in this case, if I need to add a recapture, I can do so from here. Now, one of the things that you'll find interesting in Forms Flow is that it's way more powerful than other form builders. You get options like API and layout from here, things that you don't find normally in other form builders. Now, there's other elements like resources. Let's check this out. So this is a resource element. If I want to add a display from here, settings. Look at these settings. You got your data, validation, API, conditional logic, well, conditional, then you got logic, and then you have the layout all available from here. You got files, nested forms, and custom. So if you're looking for something custom that you need to build, yes, you can do it here on Forms Flow Premium version, okay? So it's really powerful when it comes to customizing this, okay? Now, in this case, I'm gonna show you how to do this with Flow E, which is from Forms Flow. Let me go ahead and select it, and they're gonna help me build this form. So let's go ahead and generate form design. And it's going to ask me, please tell me all the specifications and requirements you have in mind for your form. So in this case, let me go ahead and tell it what I need this form flow. OK, so I'm going to keep it simple. That's what I'm asking for. Let's hit enter. Let's see what it's going to do for us. OK, here we go. The form is ready. Let's go ahead and preview this. And here we go. Name, email, phone, company, job title and reasons to visit. So let's go ahead and apply this to our form. And here we go. We have the elements added right here. So if I add it, if I ask for something else, it's going to add the elements for me really easily. Okay. So let me give this a title and description. So I'll just say test form. And this is a test for the video. And this is going to be public. And I will enable bundling. Okay. That's another feature that I really like about Forms Flow. Okay. Let's go ahead and save preview. Okay. Here's a preview. Everything is fine. Or if it's not, go ahead and edit the form. I'll hit next. And now I have the workflow. If this is going to be a simple flow, you can just leave it as it is. But if you want to have something more complex, you can go ahead and build it on the workflows. In this case, I'll leave it simple. Let's hit next. OK, this is my test form. This is the copy link. If I want to share this or open it up, I can publish this form for client users. Yes, that means for client users to log in, they're going to be able to view this form. Is it going to be available for all designers, private only for you or specific designer groups? Permissions to create new submissions, all users or specific user groups and reviewer permissions to view submissions. So I'll leave all no comments for now. Let's go ahead and save this and boom, we just built the form really easily. OK, now, if you want to bundle forms, that is possible with the premium version. That means that if you need to create three or five forms and you need to bundle them so they go one after another, that is possible because you don't want to create a super long form. You have reasons to have these separated. Maybe it's for different situations. One is for human resources. One is for marketing. One is for accounting, etc. And you have different forms, but you bundle them. OK, so to do that, we're going to go into form bundle. And I'm going to create a new bundle. Now, remember, when we created the past form, it asked us if this was going to be available to bundle. If you don't enable that, you're not going to be able to view it right here. OK, so in this case, I'll just say test bundle. Right. And I'll just say again, test. And then you can add the forms right here. So I'll add right here. And the available forms that I have are the ones that I enabled that they can be bundled. Okay. So I'll just insert these three forms and I can add conditions to this, but I'll, in this case, I'll keep it as it is. Let's go ahead and save and preview. 
and now we're able to view how the forms are bundled. So we first want to have this one. So it's a my new form, sample new application form and a test form. I just grabbed these randomly, but obviously you want to create a bundle that's actually has some sense. Okay. Now in this case, we're able to view it next form and then check out the next form and go ahead and submit it once you fill all this out. Okay. If you don't like the bundle, go ahead and edit the bundle. And if you're ready, go ahead and click next, go through the workflow and then preview and confirm. So it's a really easy way to create bundles with forms flow. Now you got your admin settings over here. So you got your dashboard, your roles. If you need to add new roles here, the users, if you need to create new users, do it from here, assign the role to them all from here, the processes. So if you need to create the workflows that you're going to use on the forms, go ahead and do them from here. Okay. So if you want to create something really complex, that is possible with forms flow. Again, things that you don't find normally on other form builders. You got your submissions once they start filling these out. And that's for the designer section. Let me go ahead and log out. Let's sign in with the client. So let's go ahead and sign in. Okay. Now this is a client. And remember, we tied these forms with clients. So they were available for them. If we don't allow that, they won't be able to view them. So I can go ahead and submit these forms. So I have all these forms available and I can go ahead and submit them. Let's just say that I want to allow the team members of the company to fill out a leave application form. So I will have that available for them. So if I want to submit one right now, I can go ahead and do so. Let's go ahead and fill this out with random information, employee name. I'll just say test. The leave date is going to be tomorrow and I'll be gone a week. The leave type it's going to be general leave or medical. I'll just say sick. Okay. Apply leave. And that's going to be available for the reviewer to review it if they're going to approve it or not. So you got your forms available here. You got your submissions that you've submitted and that's for the client section. Now let's go check out the reviewer. Okay. Let's go log into the reviewer. And in this section, we're going to be able to view all the forms that are submitted for review. So in this case, this is the one I've just filled out. So it was created a few seconds ago. Let me go ahead and select it. So in this case, I can set follow up date, set a due date, forms flow, forms flow reviewer. So if I want to group that or a claim. So in this case, I can do the claim right here. Let's go ahead and view it. You got your form that was filled out, the history, the diagram for this. Remember the workflow and let's go ahead and check this out. Here's a reviewer option. And in this case, this case, I can approve it or reject it. In this case, I'm going to reject it because it didn't provide sufficient information. So there we go. That one is submitted for the reviewer. And again, reviewer has the option to view the forms, submissions, tasks. So if you want to do this task, I can also list view them and the dashboard for the information. So I got my metrics and my insights for everything that's going on in the business. So if you want to go for the premium version of forms flow, if you are ready for something like this, that's super advanced and it's going to fulfill the needs of your medium to large size business, then you definitely want to check this out because this is going to do what you need and it's going to be able to be tailored to your needs. So there you go. That is Formflow Premium. If you want to check it out, link will be provided in the description and the wrap.